I had a lot of requests for the best mice of 2018. I was going to wait until I had the site updated, but that's going to take me too long. So this will just be a quick look at the top 10 mice. I'll put links to the full reviews in the description. And a reminder, you can always go to the top 40 on the website. I won't be using the top 40 at some stage beyond 2019, but until there's a new top list, I will keep it updated. Let's go through the current top 10 anyway. And a reminder not to worry about the numbers so much. You have to find the right mouse for you. I recommend the 60% rule as a general guide. So measure your hand like this, multiply each by 0.6, and that should be a good balance between aiming ability and comfort. Too small and you can get cramps in your hand, too big and you won't be aiming as well as you could. Also note, all of the mice I'm about to mention have near perfect sensors, so you should focus on the shape, features, and weight to make your choice. Check the reviews for more info. So number 10, the Rosa Mumber Elite, or wireless. The wireless is only slightly heavier. This was interesting because I later tried them together, and I would actually go for the wireless. In my opinion, it is the better mouse. And yes, if you're having concerns about wireless, you need to try the new wireless. They're actually as good as wired, depending on the company, of course. Razer is one that's doing it really well. I would actually be happy to use them in competitive play. And the Mumba for me is just a better shaped death adder and slightly larger so people with big hands should look into these. Number nine is the Dream Machine's DM1 FPS. It's a solid choice and the new cable is amazing. It actually feels like it's wireless. Definitely worth a look if you like the Sensei shape. It's just the overall feel and shape that hold it back in my opinion. Plus it's a bit of a clone. Eight is the Rival 310. Still love the shape of this. Could easily be a lot of people's number one choice, but it's unique and suits a certain hand size. So again, check the review. Seven is the Zowie ECB series. Zowie mice rank highly mostly because of the amazing shapes. They're lagging behind in a fair few ways though so hopefully they improve further. But this is still a solid choice, and it comes in two sizes. EC1 is the big one, EC2 is the medium. Six, the impressive Logitech G305. It's a small, lightweight, relatively cheap wireless mouse. My only real complaint is the bulging sides. Otherwise, I'd probably be using this as my main. That said, a lot of people love this shape, so still check it out. And again, wireless from Logitech is like wired. Don't let that hold you back. Also, make sure you get the lithium batteries to keep the weight down. Number five is my personal favorite, the Zowie FK series. I use the Zowie FK2 because of my hand size, but two possible issues, the scroll wheel feels awful in browsing, and it still uses the 3310 sensor, which is fine for me, but some people have an issue with tilt slam. Check out the sensor testing video in the description if you want an explanation. Zowie are releasing a new mouse soon, so check back for the review. I'll link it in the description once it's done. I'm expecting it to rank slightly higher than the FK. Number four was the gold standard for over a year, the Logitech G403. Still an outstanding mouse, love the buttons and feel. Some people don't like the hump, and some people are okay with the extra weight in the wireless version. Either way, solid choice, still love this mouse. Number three is a bit controversial, the Rival 600. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally love it, and it's just the weight that puts me off a bit. I think if they got it to 90 grams, it would be even better. But if you want a slightly heavier mouse that you can actually add weights to, this is definitely a top pick. Speaking of controversial, I'm using number 2 as a placeholder for the new Final Mouse coming. I can't give too much away at the time of this video, but I'm pretty sure it's going to stay in second place. Call it an educated guess. And in my eyes, it won't take down the top place mouse. Because number 1 is the Logitech G Pro Wireless. And to get a wireless mouse of this size down to 77 grams without the bottom plate, that's incredible. It also has modular side buttons, meaning both left and right handed people can use it. And it has outstanding performance, with very good battery life. The only real problem with this mouse is the price, and there was a concern with the left and right buttons touching on some copies. It never happened on any of my copies, even the early production units, and Logitech thought they had fixed it before release. Turns out some people still have the issue, so I will just caution you to make sure you can get a return. Logitech have been good about it though. As far as I know, they're replacing units. So if you do get a dud, just contact support. Almost every mouse has an issue of some kind. It's just how these things work. Hopefully you don't get unlucky. Either way, every mouse I just mentioned is an awesome choice. You just have to find what's right for you. So that's the current top 10. I'll leave the usual links in the description if you want to help support the channel. Subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.